Uh, it's true, uh, but uh, of course, after the first half, I think uh, that 45 minutes, that I, I think we were uh, we were very good. I think we controlled the game, and I think uh, was about to keep pushing and playing the same in the same way. I think they increased the level of. Uh, the aggressivity and, and they start to win duels and to play more direct. And I think uh, we were not in this moment consistent in to try, you know, um, to defend better. And when we concede, start, you know, change the game. In this moment, change the game. And I think the belief of them increased. But I think overall, I think we were better side. But, you know, you need to score in some moment, key moment, and have some luck and defend better, of course. Um, in a very difficult place, but after six days that we compete three in three games, very tough three games. I think, you know, I think the effort was massive. Uh, was difficult um, in the second half to keep the same energy. That is, I think, was a little bit the keys of the of the games. What of the game. You, what did you think of the Chelsea supporters? They were chanting uh, against the owner, against you, and, um, and for. Yes, I, I've been told. I've been told, uh, but I didn't hear. To be honest. It's difficult for me to understand. That is why I cannot, you know, is to. I don't know. I need to believe uh, that what you are telling me. I think, but it's, it's normal. We are we were losing the the game to one, and it's about to express the, the frustration. Um, and of course, we are the responsible. <laughs> I am one of the responsible. I am the, the head coach. Liam. Just to follow up on that, Sorry. Yes. No, I am not worried. The I am worried with the. F about the relationship with the fans. No, I am not worried. It's, we need to accept this relationship. I told you. Uh, I think someone asked me, uh, "You feel the love from the from the fans?" No. Uh, what we are going to expect? We need to build our relationship, but. Well, in between the coaching staff or the coach and the fans, uh, you build your relationship um, through winning games. But at the moment, the expectation, we cannot match the expectation. And if we don't match the expectation, what are you going to ask for love? Normally, in football, is the frustration you pay with the coach or you pay with the, you know, with the, with the people that are, are in the, above in the responsibility. I know, I know ask for nothing. I'm going to continue to work and try to change this perception. You know, and change uh, winning games. Uh, we have now one week to prepare Newcastle and try to win, and yes, and, and keep moving and pushing. We, we need to manage some reality, and then I cannot, you know, every single day to explain why. And of course, we are working really, really hard to try to win games. Um, and the team is fighting. Uh, I think six day we play 120 minutes Sunday, Wednesday, another tough game. We are a little bit short in some position because of injuries or circumstance that we cannot refresh the team. And we try to find different way to play, different system to, to try to provide the team be more consistent and to, you know, to, to play in a different way. But if that no work um, and the fans are, uh, you know, disappointed with that, uh, I need to respect. The opinion. Uh, Marissa, are you concerned that if this carries on, though, that the fans, their relationship with you continues to worsen, that it could, it could impact? I think the relationship is good. Um, if they did what they did, you know, I think it's a frustration. We need to understand that fans are emotional and like this. I am, I am fighting with all my, you know, my uh, sense to try to. To provide the team the best, uh, you know, tools to 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 work and to improve and to and to play in the best way and and of course score goals and win games. But if that is not possible, I, I really know. I, I am in a, after today is my 52 birthday. I know very well this business, but I know never going to give up. I'm going to fight. I am ready to fight tomorrow again and after tomorrow and the next game. And look, I understand this business. Um, yes, we are going to keep going. Okay, we'll do two more in this section, then do the Mondays, Bobby, and then Ryan to finish. Bobby. I'm reserved. Happy Hello. birthday. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
I just want to talk about the formation you played today. You played three at the back. Was that more to try and go against what Brentford do, or is it something? No, it was uh, the idea of uh, maybe to to start to provide the team different way to play and maybe to have an, an alternative in the way to to use. I think we needed to provide to the midfielder the possibility to not to make to to uh, uh, to cover too much distance, you know. And I think because Enzo Moy or even Gallagher didn't start again lead because I was really, really tired. And and because uh, player like Lavia that we suppose, you know, to be a good um, you know, player that challenged, you know, Moy and and of course uh, Leslie Ukuche is to help. Um, they are injured and of course they we don't have this this possibility, you know, to to refresh, you know, uh, the players, the, and in a key uh, area, and that is why I think is to help them to try, you know, with another central back, is always keeping our idea about to be protagonists and going forward, thinking there is is to try to to provide them more, be more solid. And of course, in all the trans defensive transition and in a defensive situation, is to give more more freedom then and not too much responsibility. Okay, last one in this section, Brian. Mauricio, is there a danger <coughs> because of the where you are in the table that it's hard to, to keep your players motivated? No, they, they are motivated. Further and further away. No, they are they are motivated. But look, in the last after Wolf, I seen uh, we only lose again the final, no? Only the final. And then uh, we beat Aston Villa, we beat uh, Palace, uh, we beat Leeds. We draw today and we lose on the extra time. I think, uh, yes, we cannot recover in, in one month all that we lose in the, in the past. And I think it's now to keep pushing. I think the commitment of the player is, is massive. We were suffering because of the, also the, the fixture. And, and of course, now we have two days to recover, uh, that they deserve to, to recover, and then to prepare the game for Monday against Newcastle. That is going to be tough, but we are going to be ready. No okay. problem. Thank you very much. Thank you. Quick Thank Monday's you. Thank you. Here. Well.